feel very, very exciting. Boxing today. my channel welcome if your eyes are new my name is dink and this is dink's adventures where i talk about all things disney star wars and marvel i have a very <laughs> very exciting video today it's been like a hot minute since we've done a round fly unboxing it's been a minute it's been i honestly don't remember the last time i did one but I'm very excited for this one because it is a Peter Pan lounge fly. And I wanted it so, so bad. It is over here on my chair. You can't see it. It's right here. This is the box. I'm so thinking excited. If you guys didn't know, on February 5th, Peter Pan, the movie, like, celebrated its 70 years um, anniversary since it came out, which is very, very exciting. And they released, like a ton of Peter Pan related, Tinkerbell related, um, the Darlings related lounge flies. And there was one in particular that I really, really wanted and I just had to get. So we're gonna unbox it today. I got my handy dandy box cutters, of course. I guess I should do it away from me. I always do crap for not doing it away from me. Oh dear. Oh my god. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> and the only reason I really, okay, I love Peter Pan. Don't get me wrong. I love Peter Pan. When I was a child, I had a crush on him. Now it seems a little weird to have a crush on him now that I'm older. Um, but my favorite character is Tinkerbell. So this bag definitely sold me because it's like Peter Pan and Tinkerbell-esque. Peter and Tink, not Peter and Wendy, because if you guys don't know, I'm not a fan of Wendy. She's very annoying, and it's just, I'm not a fan. I'm team Tinkerbell, so. Anyways, mm -hmm. <gasps> oh my god, they packaged it so well. Here it is, oh my god, so let me take it out. Oh my god, oh my god. Stop, 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 stop. Oh my god. I'm trying to take it out. Like, they really packed it well. Like, they put it in a plastic bag and a chicken. Oh my god, okay, hold on. This is a chair at the rig. <gasps> wow. These are little chunkies. Okay, here he is. Look how beautiful this bad bag is. So this bad bag is considered a cosplay lounge light. If you guys don't know what that means, that means um, it's a backpack that's inspired by a character of some sorts, of their face, of their outfit maybe they wear. Like this one is a cosplay. This Tinkerbell back, well, back here is a cosplay. This dark video one you see in the corner is of his suit. That is considered a cosplay lounge fly. If you guys need help learning some of the like lounge fly lingo, I have a lounge fly series about needs to knows and everything. You guys should check it out if you're new into collecting. Oh, it's so nice. Okay, so we have Peter, of course, on the top right here, and he looks amazing. He has his hat and even his feather, and his feather kind of extends outward and as you can see it's not like straight up it's kind of like mm, which i guess is fine my only worried is about this part getting like damaged um so that's kind of like mm. <laughs> and then you have like kind of his outfit this is like his belt you have his dagger i consider it a dagger not a sword um i know in some movies he has like a sword and in others he has like a dagger or a dagger and sword um but it's like a dagger right here and this part even comes off of the pocket right here as well so i would be afraid that this would be bending it's already kind of bending but it is what it is and you have the different shades of green so you have like a darker green the lighter green that even like this is like the bottom of like his shirt and this would lead into his pants it's so nice like even like his eyebrows are embroidered his eyes are embroidered 
you have the larger small pocket which is actually my favorite kind of pocket um that they have and then you have the zippers they're more of like a chrome um material like no material but like you know what i mean and you have the green lining you have more of his outfit on this side you have disney lounge white plaque in green with the like lighter green outline and these pockets the side pockets are real which is we always love when the side pockets are like real because i like to put my phone right here or my hand sanitizer right here um that's just my preference and then you have this side real pocket as well and then what sold me on this bag is this right here like this is so nice i actually thought it was connected to the zipper but it's not which makes me extremely happy because when i have my backpacks i don't know if it's you like see how the zippers are right here that's a no-no that's a no-no for me i like to keep my zippers in the middle here so when i need to go into my lounge fly i could just like pull the zippers both apart and it's just easier rather than going all the way around i don't know Maybe it's just me. So that makes me happy that it has like a little like hook right here. If you guys can see in the green. And then you have that same like chrome, like, you know, metal. And then, oh, it's so stinking cute. So this you can attach to the bag and detach it. So let's go ahead and like see how easy. It probably isn't easy, honestly. Me, me. There we go. We got it. Oh, so it detaches, which is nice because if you don't want to like leave it out on your backpack, you can put it inside the backpack or use it with a different one. Like I could take this and I couldn't hook it like that one is, but I could probably hook it on the zipper of my Tinkerbell one. It looks like it looks pretty nice with it. So this is what really, really sold me. Like it's so cute. So it's kind of like a little coin purse as and you have tinkerbell looking through a little keyhole and that's the scene where she gets locked in the drawer um and then you have like these little indents or i don't know what you would call them in that like chromey color that's all like green and if you can tell i don't know if you guys can tell but the yellow on this is kind of like glittery or iridescent like and it's so nice like do you see that it's so so pretty she looks so stinking cute like i'm sorry so cute and the back is just that same like i don't know if it's shining very well for you guys i hope it is but it looks amazing and then you have like the green around it even like right here and when you open it let's see it does have some stuffing <laughs> but i think it's a pretty decent size this is the pattern it's green and then you have in gold yellow like outline uh like a the wheel it says mermaid lagoon it's basically like themes in neverland kind of like a map which is really nice i think it's a pretty decent size let's see what can we fit in here i don't have like my wallet or anything or hand sanitizer let's see i have my airpods so you can fit airpods pretty there's these ones, you can fit that in pretty nicely and there's still kind of room. You can put like hand sanitizer in here. You can put like any cash or anything that you need your chapstick in here just like really, really quick. I have this like lip gloss. I don't think it would fit. No, it's not gonna fit. This is just like a rare beauty lip gloss that doesn't fit in there. But chapstick, anything you need to get to really, really like, you know, your feminine products, whatever you need. I think it's so, Oh, so cute. This is literally what sold me on the back. It's just this little pouch. It did come with like a matching wallet that was Tinkerbell and I really wanted it, but I think I wanted the backpack more. And maybe eventually I'll get the Tinkerbell matching wallet. The only thing is I don't like those really big envelope size accordion uh, wallets. I really like like the card holders. Those ones are cute. Um, Then continuing on the backpack, we have some green straps here this thing kind of broke off which is fine because i'm gonna want to use this backpack right away <laughs> um and then on the back we have a picture of peter and 
Tinkerbell, which I, mm, I love it so much. It's just a printed picture. I do, will say that Tinkerbell, you can kind of like barely see her because her green dress kind of blends in just a little bit. Um, you have some pixie dust and I wish she was maybe a little bit smaller. She looks kind of like big right here, just to me. Like she's supposed to be maybe a little bit teenier, <laughs> but it's so cute. Oh my God, let's check out the inside lining. I know I showed you guys, but let's see it in the map pack as well and of course they stuff these suckers like so much because oh, like i said i'm gonna want to use this map pack like right away oh. Oh my goodness. i think we have one more like stuffy thing yeah and like I always say, make sure you guys throw these away and your kids don't grab them or your fur babies. They're toxic. They're not safe. <laughs> okay, so here's the inside. This backpack is, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it seems kind of stiff. We gotta break her. We gotta break it in. <laughs> but there's the inside lining. I'm not sure why there's this humongous. Like, do you see this? That's a big tag. And it's like multiple. Lounge fly. Are we trying to be like Disney with the CVS receipts? What is that? I've never, never in my life. Why is it so big? There's like three thick tags. Like, what is that? No, I don't like that, but whatever. Um, but instead of a zipper pocket, we have a pouch one. And it looks like it goes all the way down, which I think they've been doing a lot with fill backpacks is having them go all the way down to the bottom rather than halfway, which is really nice, but looks good. And that's the inside lining. Overall, I'm really happy with this bag. Like, I absolutely love it. And what I also love about it is, give me one second. It matches also perfectly with my Tinkerbell one. Like, look at how cute they are together. Do you see this? It's amazing. And this is like, what the Tinkerbell one looks like. It's really nice. I love this backpack. I have worn it to the parks before. It's one of my favorite lounge flies I own and putting them together. Oh my God. I was telling my fiance for my last birthday when I turned 29, I Disney bound as Tinkerbell for my birthday and wore this backpack. And now I'm like, hmm, maybe for my 30th birthday, you know, cause I'm turning 30. Um, Disney Bound as Peter Pan, and maybe he can Disney Bound as Tinkerbell, not Wendy, but as Tinkerbell. We'll figure it out, maybe. It's a maybe, but I think I love that you can, like, I could probably just put this with this one. It doesn't match completely, but it's nice. Let's see if we can put it on this zipper here. Yeah, it looks nice. The only thing is it would hang off of here on the bag instead of, like, this one has, like, the built-in where is it? The built-in loop right there. This one would hang like off of that. And I could put on like any Peter Pan backpack I have that match. I have this one over there. Um, it's like more of a cream color and I think it would go nice with it too. Gave it more of a green in it. But I think that's what, that's so cute is that I can like just take it off, maybe put it on other lounge flies. This is a unique idea. I think this is the first time that I've ever seen this um, I know I'm fly, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the first one I've seen that has it. Now let's see if it's easier to put it back on here. Sorry, maybe it's because I have like nails. So I give up. <laughs> it's very hard to put back on. It was very easy to put it, like take it off of this little thing. I don't know if it's getting stuck. I don't know if it's cause I'm wearing, you know, nails, press-ons or whatever, but it's very hard to put back in. Maybe I'm assuming they should have made a, the hole a little bit bigger, um, but I'm having some trouble putting it back on. So it was much easier to take it off. So that's something to think about if you're gonna purchase this bag. I'm not sure if it's sold out or not, but I'll link it down below, but I'm really happy with it. It's cute. This is absolutely adorable. I love that it's Tink and Peter Pan-esque. And now I have the matching duo together. And of course, I'm definitely gonna put this in my background on my Peter shelf and it's just gonna look 
amazing but i love it i hope you guys enjoyed this lounge fight and boxing let me know your guys' thoughts down below did you purchase this one did you purchase any of the other peter pan ones one another one that really stuck out to me that i can think of off the top of my head is um they did like a pink bedroom of the darlings like nursery room that one was really, really cute and i want to say they did it did they do a tinkerbell like sequence one that one looks nice as well there's just so many that i want but i had to get this one like it was a must um but that is it i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did definitely give this video a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you guys can be notified every time i upload a video which is going to be changed to once a week so definitely follow me on my instagram to know what day i haven't decided what day just yet um but that is it and i will catch up with you guys next time bye